how to use Printify with Amazon, Printify and Amazon dropshipping. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'll be showing you guys how you can use a platform like Printify to create some amazing products and then you can sell those products on Amazon. The best part about using Printify is that you don't have to deal with actually printing out the designs, warehousing them, sending, sending those designs out to any of the customers that are ordering. All of that is handled by Printify themselves. All you have to do is ensure that you create some good designs. So let's jump right in. To get started, you're going to need to create an account on Printify. So click on sign up on the top right. And once you click on sign up, you can put in your email address and password. I'm just going to continue on with my account over here. Then on the top left, you're going to click on add new store. And then you can choose to connect a new store. Now with Printify, they have a native integration available for Amazon. So click on Amazon over here. Now, once you do that, you are going to proceed with your Amazon store name. So let's say I want to call this Lilies, and then I'll click on continue. Once you do that, you're going to connect to an Amazon account. You're going to verify that you have an Amazon account or an Amazon seller account. If you don't have a Amazon seller account, simply head on over to Google and sign up on the seller central on amazon this allows you to or create a profile and once you've created your profile amazon approves profiles once you're approved you can get started with selling on amazon so for this you are going to have to ensure that you already have a profile on amazon so if you try to, you know, create a brand new store, it might take a couple of days for you to be approved as a seller on Amazon. Now we can just log in over here and you guys can see currently we don't have a seller account. We can click on register to register a seller account. Now let's get started over here and we can just click on connect once you click on connect you're just going to log into your amazon seller account and just like that your store on printify will be linked to amazon once your connection with amazon is complete you can proceed with creating products now when you're creating products on printify you have a wide variety of options and certain options might seem very similar but at the same time, they do have their differences. If we go into our catalog on the left, you guys will see we have men's clothing, women's, children's, food, health, beauty, accessories, and home and living items. You can proceed with any one of these particular categories that you'd like. Let's say that I like the category of t-shirts. Now, even within a t-shirt, you have multiple different options. These options are going to vary from cut, price and material some might be exactly similar but might have a different supplier so depending upon your target market you're going to choose a different supplier you're going to choose a different material or a different cut or different types of designs you can scroll around and filter out the type of you know colors you're looking for print area you're looking for the you know the decoration method you're looking for. Now within decoration methods, you have three basic methods. You have an all over print, which means the entire surface of the t-shirt is covered. So we have direct to film and then we have direct to garment. Now direct to garment designs directly print designs on your t-shirt. Then direct to film, first print them out on a pet film, then transfer them onto the product using a heat press. Now, I personally prefer direct to garment print designs because I feel like they last the best. Now, once we do that, all the t-shirts available with direct to garment designs will be filtered out. Let's say I'm looking for products under $10. So I can go into price over here and I have the filter for zero to $14. Then if I want, I want the print to be, let's say I want to offer branding. So I want to include a insert over here. And I also want to include neck labels. Now everything is filtered out and these are my options. 
This can also include eco-friendly options if you're trying to position yourself as a eco-friendly brand or a eco-friendly seller on Amazon. Once you've done that, simply choose the product that you like and click on start designing. Once you click on start designing, you can click on select variants on the right and you have different types of variants that you can design. Let's say that I only want to design on a light pink. I want to go for a basic design that is on white. So I want to go with a light pink design only. Now, a really nice thing that you can do is that when you are taking these products, so let's say I'm designing with a light pink over here, I can go on ahead and actually find the hex code of this particular product. So for white, it's FFF, but if I scroll down onto the one that we have selected, it's going to show me the hex code that is that is available like this. And then you can just copy that. So it's F-E-E-0-E-B. Now I'm going to go into Canva and I'm going to create my design. I'll click on custom size over here and then change that into inches. And I want to choose a pretty large canvas for this because I want to create a high quality image. You guys can see, although the image printing area is not that large, but if you create a smaller design, you can't resize it to be larger without losing quality. Now I'm going to click on the background, click on the colors over here, and then I can go into the color picker and we have FEE0EB like so. So now that we have a really nice base color that matches perfectly, I can add the rest of my design. So we can just choose whatever we want to add. We have a bunch of different options. I'm just going to add some basic stuff like so. Ungroup this and then I'll just remove that. And we're just going to add girl power. Expand our text over here like so. And once I've done that, I'm going to click on effects and then I want to just add a little bit of a curve like so. And then we can go into our letter spacing. And once I have placed everything the way that I like it, I can just click on share, download and download this design. And then you can add them to your Printify products that you are going to then sell on Amazon. It's really that simple and easy to design and create products. And you can just click on save product over here. Once you do that, you can proceed with the rest of your setup and start selling your product on Amazon. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below.